Okay, so next video. It's a very interesting thing and you know, like my spiritual teachers are, are Dr. David R. Hawkins and uh, Muji. And, um, and what would you do if um, someone attacks uh, a, a respected spiritual figure you, you feel is an authentic, an authentic spiritual f uh, figure? Um, so there's various things and, you know, I was quite, I quite, um, I, you know, there's quite a few things that struck me while I was um, uh, studying Dr. David R. Hawkins' materials. Like, he would often calibrate people like Mother Teresa would be calibrated very, very highly at the, in, in, uh, at the level of the high enlightenment. And actually it's a common thing that spiritual figures get attacked quite regularly by a lot of people. You know, they, they all do. It's like, oh, do you remember the time Jesus was angry? You know, so you know, what's, what's, what's going on there? You know, obviously he's a phony or something. It's, it's, it's like odd things. Or there was that one time Ga Gandhi lost, lost his rag and shouted at his wife. So obviously, you know, he's, he's, it was just a whole make-believe story or something. He wasn't really a spiritual person. Or, or, or whatever, or Mother Teresa, you know, making a comment about something. And so, well, that, you know, no one could make that comment and be spiritual. So these, these things, I mean, Dr. Hawkins would often get attacked with calibrations. But I really thought, there's a few things. One of the things was, um, he would, um, uh, it, what he said was like, um, in group I mean, I'm paraphrasing and I'm putting my own spin on it, but in group environments, when something is being attacked and you don't, and you sort of, uh, well, I mean, I guess I should be talking something like in Nazi Germany, you know, like when the Jews are all being locked up or whatever, and you sort of, um, let's say you sort of don't stand up, I mean, I'm going to be misinterpreted on this video, but I mean, if you sort of, um, there, I mean, you can join the karma of those who, uh, if you don't, if you don't say anything, of those who are perpetrating things. So you can, you can end up sharing the karma. So sort of like tacit, you're sort of affirming it. Yes. From a sort of non, sort of passive standpoint. Yes. yes. Position. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I thought that was quite, quite a telling thing. So I guess you know if. Um, mm. If uh, a, gr a group is being victimised and I just sort of stay silent in the background, not wanting to join in um, and just uh, keep a low profile, I can, uh, it, it, it can be uh, possible that I will share the group karma mm. of those who, who are doing that. So in certain group contexts, it might be in my highest good to actually intervene and say something on behalf of what's not going right. Otherwise, I can share in the karma, of, even though I'm not actively doing it, I can mm -hmm. still share in the karma of what's being done by being a witnesser and, and not, not standing up. So I, I found that very interesting. And he did his calibrations. And I remember when people would attack his calibrations, he would defend. He would defend his calibrations, you know. And actually, there was one when Mother Teresa was being, uh, uh, was being attacked by, by a lady uh, in the audience. Well, she can't be, you know, she can't be an authentic teacher because uh, I won't say what it was. Uh, but it's a, it's a subject that, you know, a lot of people find controversial. Mm. And uh, so she, she was saying like, oh, I love, I love Mother Teresa and all, all this stuff she does, but this is one thing that she says. And so, you know, I can't take her as, uh, as my teacher. And Hawkins always had such a great sense of humor, of contextualizing things. And... Uh, uh, what did he say? He said something like, um, uh, I, 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 oh yeah, he said a few things which are quite fun. I can't remember, I'll probably get it wrong. But one of them is, you know, I mean, she might be your advocate. She might be the one who's looking out for you. So it's probably uh, not a good idea. And, and she said, and this person was struggling because this one thing she couldn't reconcile. And, uh, and he said, no, why, why should I follow her? Why should I like her teachings if this one thing is out? And, uh, and he said this lovely thing, which is, you, you could do it for, for, uh, for love. And I, I thought that was a really wonderful thing. It's like, if you've got a teacher that you respect, and there's one thing your ego finds very, very difficult, and so you want to reject the teacher for that, mm. you, can still, you could still, out of love, um, mm. let it pass. 
And I, th I could understand what he was saying in the context of Mother Teresa, mm -hmm. you know, this is kind of, this lady had seen, she was doing great work, she really loved uh, the whole package, but her ego found one thing in her, and so she was going to mm -hmm. reject the teacher, and she you know, was trying to say, well, should I reject her for this one thing? And you're saying, well, out of love you could let that go. So the thing of like mm -hmm. being in, um, but this is a different, slightly different mm -hmm. context, but I wanted to bring in the angle of karma, uh, and groups, because there's one thing I think is a different context if there's two people in the room and someone comes up with something like, you know, um, this spiritual figure is bad. Um, then I think the dynamics are different in, in actually trying to stand up for the, the, this. And my guess would be, uh, in many situations, it might be just a good thing not to uh, enter into an argument and necessarily change them because it's not like um, there's anyone else in the room that you need to, uh, that you need to stand up for it. But, um, or you could have a view, but I think those are, those are contextual. Often we say in 12-step groups, you know, um, in arguments to let the other person be right if you want peace. So, um, so sometimes in some situations it would be good just to um, uh, let it go or, or, or change the subject or something. Um, I think um, it, everything is contextual. I think in a group environment, again, I guess it's like if someone attacks your spiritual teacher or something, I think, again, that is contextual as to whether you stand up or, or you let it go. Um, I'd probably say, like, if someone sort of attacked Dr. Hawkins, I'd probably say, I probably share my experience that everything has gone right, you know, after meeting him, you know, my addictions went away, all my illnesses passed. So that's just my experience uh, uh, and, um, and uh, I have no doubt in that. But um, so I guess I can stand up for him in a certain way, which may not be necessarily have to be confrontational uh, to the other person. But it's very, very interesting, I think, from a karmic point of view, what the right thing to do is when someone's being attacked, whether you let, let it go, whether you intervene, whether you strongly sta mm -hmm. stand up. I think if it's, in a, you know, if it's in a place where it's not that important, it's in a, in a context which is not a non-spiritual environment, it may not be that thing. But I think if it's uh, in a spiritual context where someone's being attacked and that, that could do damage, uh, in the group dynamics, it may be more um, more wise to stand up because one has the capacity to stand up on their on their behalf, because other people could be misled uh, from the truth. Because if, if, uh, it's always doing, always trying to choose the highest good. And sometimes, if if a teacher is being attacked and one knows the teacher can, uh, one can stand up on behalf of the truth of the teacher. Um, that that may be in the interest of the highest good that that be done rather than uh, rather than let their reputations be be attacked uh, without without standing up for what one knows to be the truth. So I think yeah, that's a really um, a really good um, quite a really good question. Thank you. Um,